Once we are finished with the bath and the dry, um, we are going to line brush our dog. You would also use this same technique if you were line brushing at the dog show. Um, and also if you were maybe line brushing um, because your dog is matting from coat change or whatever it may be. So line brushing means brushing systematically line by line. Um, it's sometimes called layer brushing, but this is how we are going to do it. The good boy, um, because they have two kind of different types of hair. They have this shorter leg hair and then the longer um, actual drop coat. When we are line brushing any dog of any breed or mixed breed, we are always going to be using some kind of brushing spray. So this is just divine brushing spray. It could be your conditioner mixed with water. It could be a volumizing brushing spray. Um, this is just a general finishing spray with a little bit of protein in it. And we want to give a light mist. So we don't hold the bottle close to the dog. We don't want it to be like this and have the hair actually wet. We just want it to cut down on the static. So just a nice, um, little layer over our dog is fine. And then we're going to start with this leg hair. And how I like to do it is I like to kind of start down at the armpit and I'm just going to get the hair organized for a second there. And then because I'm doing this area, I'm just going to give a little spray with my brushing spray. And then I'm simply going to drop down a little layer of coat. You're always brushing onto the coat that you've already brushed, not brushing coat onto unbrushed coat. So you're going to take a little layer. The layers I'm taking are about the width of my finger, kind of going all the way around the leg. And once I have that layer, I'm just going to take the comb through it and check my work like this. Now, as soon as the hair gets staticky is when uh, I'm going to use the spray again, but I just keep dropping down a little layer of hair. And you notice again with the slicker brush, it's the same brushing technique where I'm going straight out. I'm not flicking, not flicking here. I'm not flicking at the end that breaks the hair and does cause more static. So I'm taking down a little layer of hair all the way around this leg. And once I have it brushed down, I'm taking my comb and again, going from the skin, very important that you see the skin on every layer. If you don't see the skin, then that's when your dogs can get matted at the skin. And I even go layer by layer, um, as I'm just doing this very short hair up around the stop pad, checking with my comb. Then my last layer is between the dog's foot and that stop pad. So I'm very gentle around that stop pad. So that's how we would do that shorter hair. Now to do the longer hair in longer sections of the body, I like to start as far down the body as possible. So at the belly is fantastic. And just, you know, you just brush that first layer because it has to start somewhere, maybe a little mist with our brushing spray again. So now each layer is going to be about the width of my finger, right? I like to use a parting comb when I have these longer sections. I like these plastic ones. Um, I'm not a big fan of the metal ones. I think they're scratchier for the dog. So about one finger width, I'm going to take a layer of hair, bring that down, brush it without flicking my wrist, check that brushing with my comb. And then it's basically lather, rinse, repeat, only it's part and then brush carefully that whole layer. So see how I can see that nice skin right there. That's very important when you're doing your line brushing, check with your comb, bring that layer of hair down, maybe a little mist brushing with my pin brush. This is a 27 millimeter pin pin brush and then checking my work with the comb. And we do that all the way up to the top line. So, you know, this is for any drop coated breed would be this method, but it's basically the same method for all your coat types, for your scissored coat type, your double coat. Um, you know, you just want to go layer by layer. You always just want to make sure that you can see that skin, whether you're using a slicker on shorter hair, like we showed on the legs or the pin brush on longer hair. And you just keep going along, bringing down that nice clean hair, like unbrushed hair down over your nicely brushed hair. And again, like I, you know, you notice how I'm just doing, I did the leg. Now I'm doing the body section. Then I will go to the back leg and kind of do the same thing. Another layer, bringing it down, checking with my comb. 
I can then, you know, maybe do the stifle. And I'm thinking of, you know, I want the angulation, the stifle hair to go this way. So I'm kind of brushing the hair this way. I like to go when I'm doing the legs, you know, from the top of the leg down, from the belly up. What You can make your own system, but whatever your system is, you should do it the same way each time. And then once we have the side all line brushed, we can have them either laying down or standing up. I do like to part the coat, even in a breed that needs a natural part like a Havanese. And this is so I can make sure that the coat is even, that I'm trimming the coat evenly, um, and that everything is going to turn out properly. Um, I think it's important that you part the coat and it just helps train the coat where you want it to go. And then when we get them ready for the show, I'll just like run the brush along that top line, let them shake so that the natural part does happen. But for the purpose of line brushing and any kind of maintenance grooming or trimming, I do like to have kind of that man made part in there. So there you go. If you are wondering how to properly line brush your drop coated breed, that would be how you do it. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.